Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to add additional information like contact details, terms and conditions and also we will see how to add a server object with a base URL into your async API. In last video, we have seen like how to create a async API. We have created a multiple channels uh, with multiple methods so you can see that here and also we have explored how we can use the components object to enable a reusability right so let me start adding some additional information into your async api so basically like i can add a contact detail within contact detail i can add the email so i can pro provide the email okay then i can provide the name then also I can provide the URL. So I can provide http www.jitendra.com slash example. Okay. So these are the information I can provide. Also I can provide a terms and terms of service. So basically I will provide http slash I can also say www dot jitendra dot com slash tnc so basically like uh, you can provide your company terms and service and also you can provide any one of your company's contact detail so you can see those information will reflect into your async api okay and also you can see terms and condition now i will going to add servers so basically basically i will add servers Okay. so servers where like you can provide a different uh, urls for your different environment so first thing i will add a production one so you can write production okay then under production i can define a protocol a protocol can be jms amqp uh, solas whatever so in this case i will use amqp then also you can provide url i can say broker dot example dot com then also like you can provide any kind of description so this is a production broker url then also you can add uh, information related to uat so basically then you can say protocol again i will say amqp then you can provide url of your broker broker uat dot example.com then you can provide a description i will say this is uat url right so i have added the server details so basically you can see that the server detail has been reflected into your async api basically right so now i have added the server if you want to add more server detail for dev environment i can simply say dev then then under dev you can define a protocol it is again emqp then url so simply you can say broker dev dot example dot com then finally you can provide description this is a development broker url you can say it here broker url so this is how you can add your base URA for each and every environment or basically you can add your server details for each and every environment what kind of protocol it is using and you can provide the description and you can see here we have provide some kind of contact details and the terms of service also right so that is how you can add the additional information into your async api as well as the server object into your async api in next video we are going to see how to add a security schemes within your async api I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please click on like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.